Good morning everybody, it's Ali, and we are cooking breakfast today. I'm going to be making sunny side up with ham on spinach with toast. You guys don't have to have the ham if you want to have it vegetarian. I know some vegetarians eat eggs and some don't. Um, and of course, you can sub out anything. I mean, <laughs> it's up to you. Anyway, let's go. So you're gonna need eggs. You can have one egg or you can have two. Sometimes I have two with my, when I'm really, really hungry. But since it's me and Saz, we're each gonna have an egg toast. We usually like to do that so we can eat lunch earlier. <laughs> so you get hungrier. Then I have ketchup for decoration. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. And you can have any spice of your choice. I usually have pepper and that is onion powder with parsley to decorate a little bit. And you can have the oil or butter of your choice. Then we have spinach and ham. Just make sure the spinach says it's already been washed. Um, usually they all say that it's already been washed. But if they don't, obviously you're going to have to do that and we're gonna turn on the stove and I will begin a stuff. I know some people don't like cracking eggs. <laughs> Alright I'm gonna leave it at six. Alright now let's go get the butter. I like to put like a generous amount. You can put less if you want or oil of your choice. So we're gonna be toasting actually the bread first. So while this is heating up, I will toast the bread. Grab this. And again, you don't have to have toast. You, have to be, you don't have to have egg on toast. You could just have eggs by themselves, but I like having a little carb with it. And let's get back to our eggs. I forgot we're not gonna cook the eggs first we're supposed to cook the ham and then the spinach because we're layering it so let's get this all oiled up or buttered up okay we're gonna put the spinach in spinach usually just melts like it just turns smaller and they're really fast to cook you can also eat spinach raw. I like having spinach. I think there's iron in it, so that's good. good for you. And now I'm going to put the ham. One slice each. You can have two slices if you want, but I just keep it simple. Also, I would put two slices, but dang, the Norwegian like supermarkets sell this like a that's not a lot. <laughs> I'm just used to like a fat, thick, like slices from the UK and the US. Alright, so our bread is toasted lightly. Okay, I'm gonna put them on each here. And while this is cooking, I will get some iced tea. <laughs> iced tea. Um, usually we would have orange juice, but we ran out of orange juice yesterday forgot to go get some and today is Sunday and supermarkets are closed here so we're gonna have to deal with that but yeah I really like having orange juice in the morning along with my toast but I usually do this while we're waiting for everything else to cook all right I can hear the sizzling that's good I'm gonna turn this up a bit And if you want, you can season the spinach now. You can cut fresh garlic. I'm, in the morning, I am kind of lazy. Okay, I'm not, not kinda, I am lazy. Oh, this spinach does not want to leave here. So I will preemptively sprinkle some onion powder. You guys can use salt. I just try not to use any salt unless I really think the recipe needs it. But since we're gonna be Using the ketchup, that's going to bring some salt content, at least in my eyes. And depending how much you like your spinach cooked, you know, you can cook it longer. I think I'm about to take it off the pan, and then because there's still butter on this pan, we're going to be fine with the two eggs being 
I uh, put onto it. I know some people like to butter their toast, but there's butter coming off of the spinach and the ham and the eggs. All right, I'm gonna see if we can move this over so we can show you. Oh, I guess this is not gonna be the way we're gonna do things. We're gonna have to hold it on in our hands. So I like to layer the spinach on first, if the spinach does not fall off. <laughs> um, I try to make sure everything is neat, and I try to also make sure everything is uh, distributed evenly. By eye. And you can feel free to sub out any veg or meat to your heart's desire, to your diet. Sometimes, if you want cheese, I would have put a slice of cheese or sprinkled grated cheese on the ham. That way, the cheese won't stick to the pan. No, we have to get this ham off. Okay, ham is off. Now, time for the eggs. The start of the show. All right. Okay, my favorite thing is obviously cracking eggs now. It's not my favorite thing. I think the worst thing about eggs, actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter just in case. I don't want it to stay. Now, my un my least favorite thing is um, when you boil eggs and you have to peel off the shells. It's actually really scary because I don't I don't like it when the shells like break weird and it just I don't know you just peel the eggs really terribly because of the way things are. It's like life is ruined. Okay, so I usually break my eggs like this. I have a little I don't know if you see that a little crack. Well, I'm trying to get the phone to like concentrate on it. There's like a little crack, and I kind of like split it open. Okay, we're going to do it again. Alright, so I'm going to pour a little bit of water. And then you can put the cap on. I do this so it can like mix up and cook the eggs. So you can cover it or you can leave it uncovered if you want. I personally like my sunny side eggs a little bit runny. What kind of eggs do you guys prefer? Please comment below. I, like, I love omelets. I also like scrambled eggs. I like poached um, what's the one with colony sauce? Ah, uh, eggs benedict. I don't know how to make that. I'm sure it's not hard, but you know, usually I just go out and I see it as a treat since I can't make it myself. But I know some people really like their eggs uh, sunny side down where everything's fully cooked through. They, they want nothing to do with the runny yolk. And hopefully this will come out great. Um, one thing is for sure, when you're cooking, I think it's really important to keep an eye out on your food. Um, I'm going to just lift this up. So if I didn't cover it and put water, this wouldn't be cooked like that. It would be remaining yellow or orange. I want it to be cooked a little bit through. We're going to shake this. This is what I do. I do the shaky test. I think it's pretty well done for me. You can leave it in longer if you really want to cook longer. So I'm going to turn it off. This was on, I would say, a little bit higher than medium heat. And then we will transfer this to the plate. Okay, jiggle, jiggle, wiggle. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. Woof! Then we have this one. 
jiggle wiggle here. Okay, oh, here you go. I got you. Now we're gonna put on the seasoning. Okay, so first we're gonna get the black pepper. Sprinkle it on top. And remember, you can use whatever spice you want. Okay, next we got the parsley. I like it, it adds a little bit of green to it, aside from the spinach under. And then we have the onion powder. Again, you can use freshly chopped, uh, I mean, I think this is garlic or onion powder. And then you can always use freshly chopped up garlic, but I'm not going to do that. And I like to top this off with a little heart that burns up my day. And voila, we're done. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what other breakfast stuff you guys like to eat or if you want to learn about anything that I cook. Just let me know and comment down below. And breakfast is served. Ah. Oh, nom, 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 nom.